Hi everyone, and welcome to Mike Likes Robots. Last week we got the Jetbot set up from scratch and moving around using the Jupyter Notebook. This week will be a quick start guide on getting the Jetbot moving around using ROS2. We'll be using a keyboard and a PS4 gamepad to move it around. There'll be a second part to the video that I'll link at the top, but uh, it's separate because it's a deeper dive into how to get set up and write the launch files set up Docker, format the SD card, and so on. So, let's get the robot moving. The first step to getting up and running with the robot is to make sure that our VS Code has all of the extensions that we need. So, we're going to open up extensions, and we need to install the Dev Containers extension and the Remote SSH extension. Now we want to connect our VS Code to our Jetbot using SSH. Inside here, we want to clone the repository that we're going to be using. So I'll give the link for that in the description, but we just want to do a git clone and then paste the link. Once that's there, we want to go into the folder and there's two workspaces here. The incomplete workspace is a cut down version of the complete workspace. And if you'd like to see how to bring it up to par with the complete workspace, please see my deep dive video that I linked at the beginning and in the description. Otherwise, we'll access the complete workspace. Then we want to tell code to open it. So we use code dash r. Code has found that there's a dev container configuration file, so it gives us the option to reopen in container. We want to accept this option and then wait for it to build and run the container. And the container build has finished. What we've essentially done here is gotten VS Code to automatically identify a Docker file build it for us, and then open a container for us. So we have all the dependencies and device access we need to be able to run the robot. If you're having trouble with this step, please check out the deep dive video. There's a couple of errors that it goes over how to fix. Now our complete workspace has been opened by VS Code. We need to build it to be able to run it. We can run Colcom build and add our symlink install flag. This will build our code and make sure all the outputs are in the right place for, be, for us to be able to use it. The build tool comes installed as part of the Docker container, which is another reason to use it. Once that's complete, we need to source the setup file and we're ready to launch both the keyboard and the gamepad ways of moving the robot. So for the keyboard, there's a two-step process. We need to run the keyboard node and separately run the motor controller node. So the keyword node we run by using ros2 run teleop twist keyboard teleop to keyboard. Now we can move the robot around using uio jkl m comma dot. And you can see on the right side of the screen how the robot reacts to that. So at the moment, if we press something, we're pressing I to move forward, nothing's happening. And that's because we need to run the motor controller node as well. So we need to make sure to source the same script. And then it's ROS2 run, PI jetbot control, jetbot. Now our jetbot controller has started. And if we press I now, the robot starts moving. K stops the robot and comma makes it move backwards. We can also use J and L to turn the robot. Left and right. And the keys in the corner will make it move and turn at the same time. And that's full keyboard control. If we had a way of seeing the camera, we'd be able to drive the robot around just sitting here over SSH. But that's only one of the ways that we're running the robot. We're also going to use the gamepad. The gamepad's a little easier to set up because of the launch file that already exists. So we can make it work by doing ROS2, 
launch, pie jet box control, joy.yaml. Now if we run these and connect our PS4 controller, whenever we hold the A button, it will enable the control. So we can move the analog sticks and nothing happens, but if we hold down A and then move the analog sticks, we can start to see movement. Forward and back on the left analog stick and turning on the right analog stick. So that's it. We now have the capability of driving our robot around using a gamepad. Let's take it off its podium and give it some room to move. So we're running the Teleop Twist Keyboard ROS2 node, same as I showed you before. With this, we can start moving the robot with arrow keys. We can spin it left and right, move it forward and back. and circle it. But we can adjust the angular speed up to about 0 0.5 by pressing the C button a few times. And now when we try, that's a lot slower. And we can do a curve. So there we go. Now we can use the keyboard with ROS2 to control the robot. Let's set up the gamepad. So now we want to connect the gamepad properly. So the first thing to do is check that the dongle is already inserted. Then we need to make sure the gamepad is showing a red light to show that it's connected. Now we need to run the joy launch file to start the robot up. Then if we hold the A button down, we can move the robot forwards and backwards and spin it left and right. Now we have full control over the robot. So that's it. We got the Jetbot up and running using ROS2 and we drove it around using a gamepad and using the keyboard. In the future, I want to look at streaming image data using the camera, which will open up more functionality from ROS2, like being able to map the room or autonomously navigate. So thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.